What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 21 video. It is 6pm on Thursday. It is day after, the day after EA's um, icon debacle, I suppose. And so we're going to see if we've got anything for today. I hope there's new league SBCs. Of course, they expired yesterday. I hope there's new icon SBCs. That'd be really nice. There's of course going to be some marquee matchups. Uh, for today but let's go and have a look there was nothing else there oh there are new icons there you go um so we'll start with those there's a michael balak seven segments for him four star four star high medium six two um he's got good physicals but very good defending his defensive awareness and interception is not the greatest he'd be better suited as a box to box i think rather than a straight flat out cdm he's got great shooting great passing very good dribbling um an anchor or a shadow on him would probably be uh, extremely good. Four star, four star as well. And the number of segments, bronze squad, a silver squad, an 83, an 85, an 86, an 87, and an 88. So EA value Michael Balak very highly. Um, Rui Costa as well is there. Uh, he's four star, four star. He's got decent pace, decent dribbling, decent physicals, low aggression, good passing, good shooting, especially from range. You know, he's four-star, four-star. He's got the flair trait. He's got the outside the foot shot trait. But he's just... I don't know, man. He's hes one of those ones that it's good. But seven segments certainly uh, concerns me for a card like that. A bronze, a silver, an 80, an 82. Okay, so four of the seven segments are, are basic, basically cheese. An 84, an 86, and an 86. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. The pack's back are all tradable, which is real nice. Some silvers. And then Peter Schmeichel, um, of course, as a goalkeeper goes, he's got quality stats. Put the right chem style on him. They're maxed out. Maybe even basic for Schmeichel would be ideal. Uh, he's six foot four, which is good for this game. Six segments. Certainly worries me. Oh, definitely worries me. Bronze, silver, and 80. An 84 and 285s for a goalkeeper. Depending on what the fodder prices are, that, that, that might be reasonable. That might be reasonable. Um, and then it's the loans for those cards as well. So um, only the icons, no new league SBCs, although they did come out at 10 o'clock one of the nights. Um, in terms of the live content, the 81 double upgrade repeatable there still. The Christian Teo still there. The 83 plus upgrade still there. Another 81 double upgrade, which I assume is going to be the player days um 81 double upgrade and that's just the golds uh you know just 30 chemistry for 11 golds um let's pop those in and uh pick up our pack for this one see uh see what we can get out of that so we're just 30 chemistry should be relatively easy to put together there we go so that's two 81 plus rated players again ni nice and easy man nice and easy on that one um, an 83 double upgrade, non-repeatable as well. And this is going to cost an 82 rated squad. Not bad. Not bad. Have I got 82 rated? One, two, three, four. So I need all 82s from this point onwards. We haven't got any there. Got a couple here. Hopefully, we're going to get something good out of this for, for throwing in all these 82s. And the chemistry is only 30 as well. So not too bad. 982s, 281s for 283 pluses. Of course, right now, there's not a lot going on in the game. So I don't know if it's entirely worth opening them right now. Uh, we've also got marquee matchups for a prime gold players pack. PSV versus Feyenoord for a jumbo gold pack. Leipzig versus Frankfurt for a gold players pack. Milan versus Napoli only requires one Serie A player as well. Prime election players pack. And uh, Arsenal versus Spurs for a premium goal players pack. Uh, requires just one Arsenal or Spurs player and only two Premier League players. So they've actually made the requirements for marquee matchups relatively easy for today. No, uh, no player or anything. Um, which is a bit surprising. Let's have a look at the objectives. To see if there's anything new but late. There's not. I've got Weekend League Plus and Silver Stars. And other than that, I'm pretty much done myself. If I hide the unavailable stuff, 
Yeah, Premier League player two and Premier League and League One player two I've got to work towards. Silver Stars I've got to work towards. But other than that, there's nothing else there. And for Milestones, there's nothing new there either, unfortunately. So other than the icons, and we'll go ahead and take a look at the icons and what we might get out of them. Uh, but other than the icons, there's not really a lot going on. So 281 plus rated players. Um, half price mega packs are back as well. That's not bad. Half price mega packs are genuinely good value. So 281s is going to give us a maximum of 282s. Uh, it's well there you go 282s and that was a, a bit of a waste 283s um which is uh hopefully going to give us a walkout would be quite nice 283 pluses no walkout of course guaranteed boards but now i know i'm maxed out on 85s here of course i get a duplicate untradeable of course i do i'm just going to throw him away i can quick sell recovery him if i need to and then in the promo pack section half price mega packs now do you know what Mega packs at 17 and a half K, I absolutely rate, right? It is a it is genuinely good value for money. Even if you don't really get much, you know, even if you don't get boards or you don't get anything, right? I mean, for us, that's banging. Like straight away, that's a 20K card from a 17 and a half K pack. So we're going to make some profit off of this pack no matter what. We've also got an 83 Vidal there as well, which is super nice. A couple of other big cards, some consumables that we'll be able to sell. Um... These ones won't go a 4k unlock look at that and a few more cards there as well that is exactly why even if you take out delict of that pack we're still in a situation where we would have made profit off of that pack anyway they are just genuinely very 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 good money um or good value for money should i say and of course if you hit a walkout if you hit an icon of you know of course they are uh they are great value um so it looks like uh, Josh is telling me that it's coming in at about 1.3 million for Balak at current market price, 650 for Costa, and 475 for Schmeichel. Mm, that's not bad, you know. That's not bad. Um, I'll open one more mega pack, and then we'll go and uh, we'll go and take a look at the um, the icons on the web app. And we don't get bored out of that one. So this would be a perfect pack to explain like how even if you get bad stuff, right? The consumables all sell 250, 300 coins for the contracts. We get a shadow, a sentiment to cam card has relatively decent value. Uh, and then a whole bunch of players that, of course, you're not going to get a thousand coins back for them right now. But actually, maybe due to marquee matchups, some of these guys might have a bit big, bigger value. Um, so yeah, that's... Uh, that's they're, they're just they're just not bad ultimately but let's go and have a little look guys at these new icons i am a bit disappointed that there's not cr like not more basically i know that's a typical me never happy but um yeah we've got the three icons here so of course schmeichel is just pointless he's 560k on the market and uh he's about 475 for the sbc um so you've got that i suppose We've then got Rui Costa, 820k on the market and 650 SBC. So that's not bad. And Rui Costa, it's a, it's a weird one, man, because he's got four star, four star. He's got good composure and good stats. Pop a maestro on him. And he's genuinely not terrible. I just, with an engine, he's, he's actually very good. Shooting from range is brilliant. Pace is very good. Dribbling is very good. Passing is very good. Physicals are good. You know, if you're needing an icon to link, especially a Portuguese icon that obviously gives some really good links to a, a few other players, at like Pepe as an example, obviously your Ronaldo, if you've got the right wing Ronaldo. Um, this really isn't an awful card. A marksman's not a bad idea either. He, he's certainly got potential to be super usable. Like, certainly has potential to be super usable. I, I don't mind it. You know, I, th I think you could put an engine on him. And he'll be quite agile and very uh, fleet of foot in the midfield. You could give him the uh, the marksman and give him that long range shooting maxed out. It's very nice, but then his passing is good, not great. I wonder what a basic would do. You know what? I don't even mind that. Really good boost to passing, a five sprint speed, really good boost to dribbling. That's that's not a bad chem style. That's not a bad chem style. I quite like the basic. If you're going to play him in a cam, a basic chem star on Rui Costa is probably the one. And then Michael Balak, interesting. He's 1.3 mil for the SBC, 1.5 on the market. Of course, this market price will come down because people that have him will sell him to complete the SBC and have some coins left over. So you can rest assured that this Michael Balak version will crash in price a little. Um, he's a bit heavy, obviously. An engine certainly does some things for him. 
even then I don't I, like his passing so good I don't even know if I would bother with the passing his shooting for a midfielder as well is so good do you know what I, I'm, I'm very tempted to say even a basic for him there maybe an anchor or a shadow yeah shadow's very good great pace very good defending not the best defensive awareness uh, good physicals very good passing very good shooting and decent dribbling I'll, I will be honest from my perspective this card is not worth 1.3 million as an SBC and the reason why I say that is because even though it's a great card he's 6'2 he's got 4 star 4 star he has flaws no matter which way you look at it if you want to use him as a defender his defensive awareness isn't that great he'll be a bit heavy because of his agility and balance and his aggression could be better pace and defending is good otherwise uh, if you want to use him as an attacking player because he has got four star four star then his dribbling is just not good enough he'll be a bit too heavy otherwise his you know the rest of him is very very good um so it's a bit tricky i mean you could use him as a cam something like a maestro as as a, as a regular center mid if you do play like the five three two or the four one two one two uh, and you need just centre mids, that's where Balak might shine because he's good enough defensively and strong enough to be able to hold his own defensively and he's got a lot of capabilities going forwards as well. I just feel like this card would be a bit heavy. Uh, obviously, I haven't played with it. I can't say exactly whether it'll be heavy or not. Um, but I think there's a reason why Prime Icon Moments Balak is a 1.4 tradable on the market rather than 3 mil or 5 mil or 8 mil. So uh, I I personally wouldn't... I'm not, I'm not overly keen on any of these three icons. The first three icons we got, I thought all three of them were brilliant and had um, had had merits for sure. I've been using Cliver hilariously and he's, he's a bit of a donkey. Um, but you bang a hunter on him. He's got high, low, four star, five star, top pace, top shooting. Good dribbling outside of the agility and balance is not bad. I think Nedved, and what is Cliver coming in at? 741k as well. I think Nedved is very good value. Uh, he's coming in at 820k, four star, five star, brilliant stats. I, I, I think I think that is a I think that's probably the best icon that we've had so far out of all six of them. Um, and even Carlos Puyol, I know he's not everyone's bag because of the pace, and I know the uh, fullbacks at centre back meta is is extremely high. But for 420k. You pop a shadow on him, which is what I'm running because I just want that pace, but I also want that defending max out. He is a world class, world class centre back. Um, so uh, there you go. Um, new icons today, but not, nothing else really. You know, your typical marquee matchups, the 83 double upgrade. Oh, the 81 double upgrade was there from yesterday. Never mind. So just the 83 double upgrade for today. Non repeatable, but nice and cheap uh, for 283 pluses. Marquee matchups there, a few icons, but. Bit of a bit of a slow day actually, but uh, that guys is going to be the end of the video. So if you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.